<sighs> Feels good to be back in the chair of doom. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, there seems to be a problem at hand. There is an epidemic of horse crap on the internet, which ever since I did the first video back of internet stupidity, more and more crap keeps appearing on my timeline, left, right and center. Quick side note. Uh, ever since my mum discovered Instagram, she's been sending me these memes that I've seen like five years ago. Like, mum, I've seen these memes a long freaking time ago. I don't want to see them anymore. Okay, but that's not what we're talking about today, all right? I know there's a lot of BS happening on Instagram where there are these Instagram comedians. Just posting absolute bull but that is not what we're talking about today uh, I came across this one guy on Facebook and that's another platform full of horse crap this guy goes by the name of Sal so a video of his appeared on my timeline and I saw it got millions of views so I thought oh maybe like some of the very rare but other Facebook videos with millions of views this one might actually be one of those good ones I was wrong. Why you got 12 car carriage? Hit her with no condom. Had to make her hit plan B. Now the thing that annoys me is that Facebook changed their algorithm. So it will start showing people stuff that are relevant to what they search, what they look at, what they like. Basically they want to they wanna put stuff on your timeline that is relevant to you. Which is relevant to your likes, your interests. I'm pretty sure this... is not an interest of mine. So what the f is it doing on my timeline? You know, you know, you know, to put context behind what I'm complaining about, let's 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 watch some of his amazing masterpieces of videos. Sheesh. Okay, so we've got this one called The Friend Who Thinks He Got the Plug. Where are we? I'm tired as fuck! Oh man. I can't do this anymore, man. Don't worry guys, I'm from Morocco, I got the plug. Don't go to Uber real quick, hold up. You got an Uber out here? Right Uber has arrived. Oh, is that him? Up on motherfucker. Today, here Next. When it's 4.20, but you're in a foreign country. We're in a foreign country, what do you think I'm just gonna find weed by the any dealer around? Let's ask someone. Who? Why don't you ask that guy with a palm tree on his shirt? This guy right here? Man, this dude don't have it. All right, you want to go? Let's, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Uh, excuse me, uh, do you have any marijuana? Any weed? Any weed? She's going to keep doing the Stevie Wonder. Free for it? Sheila? I told you you didn't speak no dang on English. No English? Let's, let's go, man. Let's go. <sighs> Motherfucker, bitch. I'm the plug. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Great joke. Great joke. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Joel, why the hell are you complaining so much? Well, to be honest, I, I do like complaining. But ever since I rebooted this series, I have actually noticed and I've actually been looking at the internet in a different light. And I've noticed how most of the most popular videos that come out on these social media websites a freaking bull because usually I don't really spend time flicking through timelines and stuff looking for new videos to watch I just stick with the same content creators I watch all the time and I don't really look for new people to watch now recently I decided you know what let's see what's popping on the trending pages of these websites and there seems to be a recurring theme that everything is either fake clickbaity or just straight-up garbage 